Okay, let us move on to tutorial 6. We will see few problems because enough examples were worked out by Professor Babu. So, we will see some examples. The first one is a steam turbine is used to drive an air compressor like this. A steam turbine is used to drive an air compressor. The value of uh, R for air and gamma for air is given. The heat loss from the compressor and turbine each amount to 5 percent of their respective power. That means there is a heat loss from the, this is not fully insulated. So, there is a heat loss from this, I will say Q compressor, Q dot we will say and there will be heat loss Q dot turbine. This actually will be 5 percent of the respective power. Okay. So, for example, it will be 5 by 100 into W dot T whatever be the power turbine by the power uh, done by the turbine developed by the turbine. <coughs> so, let the power developed by the turbine be W dot T. So, 5 by 100 into W dot T will be Q dot T. Similarly, Q dot C will be equal to 5 by 100 into here I am putting absolute of the power given to the compressor because this negative no power is consumed. So, W dot C that is negative. So, absolute value of W dot C into 5 by 100 will be Q dot C. Both are actually lost. So, you can see the direction of the heat transfer. Assume steady state operation, neglect kinetic and potential energy changes. Compression process, see, initial condition is given, air comes at uh, 100 kilo pascal, 27 degree centigrade to the compressor at a volumetric flow rate of 8.66 meter cube per second and uh, it goes out but the compression obeys this that means I can find the uh, apply this relationship for the compression. Now the expansion process in the turbine is such that no liquid at the exit there is no liquid at the exit the final pressure is given on bar ok here also initially a 30 bar 600 degree centigrade steam enters at a volumetric flow rate of 0.363 meter cube per second. Determine with proper justification highest possible compressor exit power. So, when highest possible compression can occur? When maximum power is delivered by the turbine to the compressor. Okay. That means the condition at the exit of the turbine should be such that it should be at least saturated vapor. Okay. Now, we will draw this and show. Okay. So, now for the compressor you can see that is higher 30 bar. So, let us say 30 bar 600 sorry. So, somewhere here that is state uh, for this for the steam turbine state 1 is this. Okay. This is T V diagram. So, now this is 600 degree centigrade. This is 30 bar pressure. Now, here this is one bar. One bar. Now, the exit state if it is See the condition given is there should be no liquid. Okay. Now that means the exit rate can be superheated also. So I can be here, here, anywhere. But what happens when they when we are here? The work delivered by the turbine will reduce. So where the maximum work will be delivered with the condition of no liquid at the exit, this this. When you are in the saturated liquid condition, then only maximum work will be delivered. If you go to superheated, then also no liquid condition will be satisfied, but the <coughs> work delivered will decrease. So, straight away I can fix the state 2 as for the turbine as 1 bar x 2 equal to 1. Simil like this is the justification. Why? For maximum compression, I need to deliver maximum work to the compressor. For maximum work to be delivered, the maximum work should be developed by the turbine for which the exit state should not be superheated, should be saturated 
paper because no liquid should be there. I can also go to somewhere here so that H decreases. I can also go somewhere here, but liquid will come in. So I cannot take any excess here. I can only take this dot as the exit state. So exit state is straight away fixed. Okay. So that is the understanding you have to make. There are two important things here. There is a heat loss from the compressor as well as turbine. And for the compression, there is a PV power 1.35 equal to constant is given from which you have to find the exit pressure. Similarly, for the exit of the turbine, the condition is no liquid should be there and the pressure should be 1 bar. That is the pressure ratio of the turbine is 30 bar. Okay, now this is what is given and uh, let us see how to calculate the uh, highest compression exit pressure solution. from steam tables P i is 30 bar and T i equal to 600 degree centigrade for the steam uh, turbine and also volumetric flow rate V i is given as 0 0.0363 meter cube per second. So now from steam tables, what is the saturation temperature at 30 bar equal to 233.9 degrees centigrade? So, which is actually less than less than T2 Ti, which is 600 degrees centigrade. So, the state is superheated. So, I can go to the superheated tables now for 30 bar here, 30 bar superheated tables corresponding temperature is 600 degrees centigrade. Now, from that I can take the value of V as 0 0.132 and H because it is a control volume problem. Now, I need enthalpies. So, I go to H as 3682. So now V1 is 0 0.132 meter cube per kg and H1 is 3285 kilo joules per kg. I retrieve the values for this state 1. Okay, now next is from this I can find the mass flow rate of steam. Mass flow rate of steam is what? Volumetric flow rate of steam divided by divided by the specific volume that will be equal to 0 0.363 divided by 0 0.132 equal to 2.75 kg per second. Okay, that is also fixed. Now, we have discussed for maximum power developed by the turbine which can be used to get the maximum compression, correct, which can be used to get maximum compression, okay, in compressor the exit state should be saturated vapor. So, that means final state P2 equal to 1 bar sorry 1 bar and uh, X2 equal to 1 that is it. Now, go to that and uh, get the values for the exit state here. We go to the saturation uh, 1 bar what is Hg ok that is 2675. 2675 V is 1.694. So, I will say V2 equal to or uh, existed. No, so I can say this is E I will put so existed in the state. I have put I. So, I have put here 
V equal to 1.694 meter cube per kg and HE the exit state for the steam is 2675 kilo joules per kg. That is the justification for what we are using. Now for the turbine I can write Q sorry Q dot minus W T worked out by the turbine equal to m dot into h e minus h i neglecting the kinetic energy and potential energy changes which is given. So now what is q dot as we discussed it is minus 5 by 100 of w t dot. Now what is this minus for? It is lost so minus sign comes and 5 percent of the turbine power minus w t dot equal to m dot into h e minus h i which implies w t dot equal to m dot h i minus h e divided by 1.05 which is equal to 22637.4 kilowatts that is the power developed by the turbine maximum power developed by the turbine um, imposing the condition that no liquid should be there in the exit of the turbine. Now taking the compressor for for compressor first we will calculate what is given data Pi equal to 100 kilo Pascals then uh, Ti equal to 27 degrees centigrade that is 300 Kelvin then volumetric flow rate equal to 8.66 meter cube per second ok since volumetric flow rate is not conserved we have to convert it to mass flow rate. So what is mass flow rate of air will be equal to Pi divided by RTI this is density into Vi dot so which is equal to 10.06 kg per second ok. So now I need to find the maximum compression pressure I know that P i V i power 1.35 equal to P e V e power 1.35 that is given you can go back and see in the problem. PV power 1.35 equal to constant. But first of all, how to get the values? The exit pressure, I don't know. Correct. So, how to get that? So, first we go for the energy equation. I can say Q dot minus W dot C equal to M dot into H E minus H I because again I am neglecting the kinetic energy potential energy changes. So, now he can, I can write for this as minus 5 by 100 minus is for q is neglected is rejected by the compression i have to put what absolute value because this is actually negative minus minus of wc i am again using absolute value please understand this so that will be equal to m dot into h e minus h i okay now which implies WC magnitude will be equal to M dot into H E minus H I divided by 0 0.95. But what is this? This is nothing but the power developed by the turbine that will be equal to 2. Two two six three seven point four, correct. That is we have already uh, kilowatts. So now, please see this. I don't know the exit temperature, so I can now find the exit temperature from this. T E minus T I divided by zero point nine five equal to two two six three seven point four kilowatts. From that I can find T E as 
548 kelvin okay now i will find the pressure how can i find pressure pv power 1.35 equal to constant so and also i have pv equal to rt so i combine this and i get p2 by p1 will be equal to t2 by t1 power n divided by n minus 1 where n is 1.35 okay n equal to 1.35 when i apply this i will get p2 as 1021.54 kilo pascals this is the answer what is the compression so here you can see that the state 2 for the compression is not fixed but by using the energy equation i found that temperature at the exit and from the temperature using pv power 1.35 equal to constant combining that with the equation of state we have found the final pressure so this is the answer next problem consider a feed water heater that has two inlets and one exit so like this a feed water heater one exit two inlets so let us say this is inlet 1 this is inlet 2 and exit will say 3 feed water at 800 kilo pascals 800 kilo pascals and uh, 50 degree centigrade and uh, here steam at 800 kilo pascals and 200 degree centigrade comes into the feed water heater and uh, saturated liquid at 800 kilo pascals goes out that is 800 kilo pascals x equal to 0 goes out determine the ratio of mass flow rates of the feed water and the steam so let us say this is mass flow rate 1 this is mass flow rate 2 m dot 1 and m dot 2 and this is m dot 3 i want the ratio of m dot 1 divided by m dot 2 for steady operation neglect the kinetic energy potential energy and no heat loss also so q is also 0 okay q dot equal to 0 okay rate okay steady state steady flow problem so now let us fix the states state 1 because this is water no so state 1 that is state at the entry 1 we can say is what since t sat t sat at 800 kilo pascals what is that that is is we will see these steam tables here 800 kilo pascals is 8 bar the temperature is 170.4 equal to 170.4 is greater than 50 degrees so state 1 is subcooled liquid therefore h1 will be equal to hf at 800 sorry subcooled liquid so 50 degree centigrade or we can say uf plus p into vf at 50 degree centigrade so go to the tables again we can say h1 will be equal to 200 209.3 into sorry plus 800 kilo pascals into uf is 0 0.001012 so that will be equal to 210.11 better to use this so this kilo joules per kg that is h1 okay now what is h2 state 2 state 2 is 800 kilo pascals comma 200 degree centigrade since T2, this is T2, this is T2, T2 is greater than T sat at 800 kilopascals, state is, state 2 is 
superheated. That means you will see that from the tab superheated tables, I can take H2, go to this superheated tables, 8 bar, here 8 bar, 200 degrees is the first line. What is H? 2839. 2839 kilojoules per kg. So that is the state 2. State 3. State 3 is saturated liquid at 800 kilopascals. That means H3 will be equal to HF at 800 kilopascals. So go to the table again. 800 kilopascals. What is the value? 721.1. 721.1 kilojoules per kg. So now I got all the values. Now apply the energy equation. What is energy equation? Q dot minus Wx dot equal to m dot outgoing stream. That is m dot 3 h3 minus m dot 1 h1 plus m dot 2 h2. So the outgoing stream and incoming stream but here q is 0 there is no work for this device also. And also mass conservation m dot 3 will be equal to m dot 1 plus m dot 2. So that we can apply here. So I can say m dot 1 plus m dot 2 into h3 h3 equal to m dot 1 h1 plus m dot 2 h2 okay now from that i can find the ratio what is that m dot 1 divided by m dot 2 that is required ratio will be equal to h3 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h3 equal to 4.145 that is required ratio for having a steady state operation now the third problem, a rigid vessel of volume 0 0.6 meter cube contains 8 kg of water at 20 bar. Okay. So, P1 is 20 bar, liquid is allowed to exit, so liquid alone is allowed to exit by having openings from the bottom of the vessel, because the liquid will be in the bottom and vapor will be in the top, okay. So now heat is transferred to the vessel in order to maintain the pressure constant at 20 bar, so that is P2 equal to 20 bar. The process is stopped when no more liquid is present that is x2 will become 1 only vapor will be there saturated vapor. So determine the mass that escapes and the heat which is transferred. What is the mass going out? Okay. What? So we have to find this. Okay. Now state 1. v1 equal to v by m equal to so m1 I will put because mass is going to change. So v by m1 equal to 0 0.6 divided by 8 equal to 0 0.075 meter cube per kg. Then at the pressure is 20 bar. So at 20 bar we will know from the we will take from the tables vf equal to 0 0.00. 1177 meter cube per kg and uh, Vg equal to 0 0.1 meter cube per kg. You can see from the tables. So from there I can calculate quality at state 1 as V1 minus Vf divided by Vg minus Vf which is equal to 0 0.747 quality is got. Now similarly Uf at 20 bar will be equal to 
906.4 kg kilojoules per kg and um, ug equal to you can take from the tables as 2600 kilojoules per kg similarly what is going out is liquid so i want hf also which is taken from the table as 908.8 kilojoules per kg okay this is the data which i have retrieved why you want hf please see that the mass is going out liquid is only going out that means it will take the enthalpy what is the enthalpy going out the liquid enthalpy so total enthalpy which is going out will be the mass which has gone out okay mass which has gone out say mass out into hf this is the total enthalpy which has gone out so for energy balance i need the value of hf okay this is state 1 i fixed this these values so from that i can get u1 u1 equal to uf plus x1 into ug minus uf which is equal to 2171.52 kilo joules per kg okay so that is the value of u1 now state to p2 equal to 20 bar and x2 equal to 1 we no more liquid is present no so that is the thing so that means i can say v2 will be equal to what vg at vg at uh, 20 bar equal to 0.1 meter cube per kg similarly u2 will be equal to ug at 20 bar which is equal to 2600 kilo joules per kg so now what is mass at the state 2 that will be equal to the volume of the vessel divided by the v2 specific volume which is equal to 0.6 divided by 0.1 which is equal to 6 kg that's it so initially 8 kg of water was there right so m1 equal to 8 kg m2 equal to 6 kg that means mass that as left will be equal to m1 minus m2 equal to 2 kg 2 kg mass has left now counter volume apply the first law q dot minus wx dot equal to de cv by dt plus m dot e into he minus m dot i into hi so kinetic energy what are the changes are neglected now here you can see that there is no work involved here so that is zero similarly ecv is only ucv okay then there is no mass coming in so this is also zero okay now i can write this as q dot equal to ducv by dt plus m dot e into he what is how going mass for it now mass conservation dm cv by dt equal to m dot i minus m dot e but here this is zero so i can say this as du cv by dt minus dm cv by dt into he what is the outgoing enthalpy this is equal to hf at 20 bar so i can write this as d here i can write d mcv ucv divided by dt q dot equal to minus dm cv by dt into this is constant so i can say hf so this is what i get so if integrate this i will get total q integrating i get total q will be equal to m2 u2 minus m1 u1 so in we we'll integrate 1 to 2 dm cv ucv divided by dt into dt i'll get m cv ucv state 1 to state 2 that is m2 u2 minus m1 u1 so this is what i am playing here so that minus here if you integrate this you'll get m2 minus m1 into hf so i know m1 m2 u1 u2 hf also so i can get q as 
45.44 kilojoules. That is the answer. So, the mass that has escaped is 2 kg. So, what we are doing here in this case is there is a constant volume of 0.6 meter cube. There is a state initially there is a water with a call it water means what it is a saturated mixture of liquid and vapor with a quality of 0 0.747 which we have determined. So, bot bottom will be having water and the top will be having vapor. So, when I remove uh, this from the bottom liquid alone comes out and uh, after <coughs> the Q is transferred so that there is the pressure is maintained constant because when the liquid goes out the pressure decreases but the heat transfer will keep the pressure constant. So, that is the problem here. So, first we found the initial state and uh, all the properties required for at the initial state is also calculated. Then final state was also fixed as per the problem from which we got the final mass. <coughs> initial mass minus final mass is the mass that has left out. By applying the energy equation and integrating that we found the total Q. So, this is the problem 3. So, I will stop here. This is the completion of the tutorial 6.